Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Eli Ehlers. And I'm Grayson Jones. Today is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A-Day with advisory and LS4. Girls varsity soccer plays at home tonight against Westfield at 7.15. JV at 5.45. Boys varsity soccer plays away tonight against Westfield at 7.15. JV at 5.45. Varsity Baseball plays at home today against West Potomac at 6.30. JV plays away at 6.30. Underclassmen Laptop and Textbook Drop-Off begins this Friday from 12.30 to 2.30. Yearbooks will be distributed to classrooms today during graduation rehearsal and during senior laptop collection. After a successful cross-country season, Mary interviewed some of the athletes to see how they felt about it. Even though their season started late because of COVID, Chantilly Cross Country still did great. Let's talk to the team. This year's season of cross country was very different because it was shorter, had smaller meets, fewer meets, and was in the spring instead of the late summer and fall. So the main difference between this year and last year for cross country was probably the invitational meets on Saturdays because this year we only got to meet with like three or four teams on Wednesdays. We didn't get to have our big meets on Saturdays, but with 16 teams on the weekend with like like catering and all that good stuff. So I miss that and that was a lot different from last. Um, also one of the differences is that we had to wear our masks for the first half of the season we were racing, which is very difficult um, when you're for a longer um, race, such as like cross country, we run 5Ks and three miles. And um, so wearing a mask for that whole time is definitely difficult. My favorite thing about this year's season of cross country was the weather because since it was in the spring, the weather was pretty warm, if a little cold, which is good for running. My favorite thing about the season this year was probably just like actually getting to see everybody all the time because during a like pandemic, we didn't get to see all of our friends a lot. So being able to run with my friends all the time was very nice. That's my favorite part about favorite this year. Favorite thing about this year was probably being able to place high in both the district and the region, um, which I guess is my goal and improvement as well. Um, my goal was to place higher in the district than I did last year and place higher in the region than I did last year and I accomplished both of those goals, um, which is very um, exciting for me. My goal was to not get injured this season because sometimes cross-country conditioning can be really hard on your body, but luckily I did not get injured. Well, the main goal and improvement that I made um, from this year, that um, from last year, was probably obviously just uh, beating my time from last year. I did a lot better this season than I did last season, so I'm proud of that and that was my best improvement. Congrats on a great year. This has been Mary Sherman for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Pride Month is a time to celebrate and learn about the LGBTQ community. Noah has more on what this month means to our students. Pride Month is a time to celebrate your pride and who you are. It's also a time for self-discovery and to learn about the history of the LGBT community. Some students are here to explain what Pride Month is about. Many students should care about Pride Month because it is important to value every single one of us and make everybody feel included in the community. So I think we should value and give importance to Pride Month. And I think we need Pride Month uh, so that we can let everybody know that um, they, they are part of the community and they, can, they don't have to pretend to be someone else in order to be in part of the community. Students can be more supportive of the LGBTQ community by just being kind and accepting and educating themselves on the different components of the LGBTQ community. By supporting them through the process and just like believing them and not really fighting against what they claim themselves to be. School has a Jedi lesson with uh, various things. Uh, there will be a bit of history, a bit of like explanations on various genders and sexualities, um, and um, a bunch of other things that you will see in the lesson. Um, there will also be pride stickers that would be handed out to teachers and students. Uh, and we are working to get a pride flag to be hung up on the staircase. To me, Pride Month is a time where we all get to be who we are and just kind of find out who we are and really celebrate that and have pride in it. I kind of feel more seen, more accepted. It, it's a month that I feel like I can use to express myself a little more vividly. I want to wish everyone a safe and happy Pride Month this year. This has been Noah Johnson for the Nightly News. 
Now back to you. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Eli Ehlers. And Grayson Jones, reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you next LS.